Today, let's chat about chat engine components. So you might be in a situation when you're building your chat experience where you just wanna use parts of the UI. So maybe you just wanna use the chat feed and not have to bring in the chat list on the left and this whole settings thing on the right-hand side. Maybe you just want that little chat feed so you could put it in somewhere like a support window. In these situations where you wanna just use a few components and build from the ground up, you should use our components and our documentation. So we allow you to pull in any section of that chat engine experience on its own. So, and then you can rebuild, reorder, include or exclude whatever you want. So why don't we go through this support example here? So in this basic website, we have a route that just has a basic website with the support window open. And then we also have a support page where you can chat with all the users in need. How this works is actually incredibly simple. So why don't we go into the folder structure? We have a simple index file, depending on whether or not you're on the support route, you'll either open the support page or the home page. Let's start with the support page because it's not the, the crux of this tutorial. It's just chat engine populating the whole screen linked to this project right here. But for the home window where the support uh, modal is open, you'll see that we're using components. So we pull in the chat engine wrapper, which provides context, which we can get to in a later tutorial, the chat socket, which again requires a later tutorial, but is needed to pull the data and link to incoming data. And then last but not least, that chat feed component. And all we really did was we added a little support button at the bottom, and then we added this little column on the right-hand side with the chat feed and the chat socket linked inside of a chat engine wrapper. So now what we have is basically this little chat feed right here in the bottom right-hand side, and it's subscribed to this chat, and we can get the incoming data by subscribing to the chat ID and using the chat access key. This stuff kind of requires a later tutorial, so don't think about that. The main point is that you can bring in parts of that chat engine experience to really build your own experiences from the ground up.